let's talk about how to take a great branding photo for your book cover, part of the how to write and publish a book in 90 days video. To take a really amazing branding photo, you need to know so many different elements. The very first thing is what colors are you going to wear? Are these colors in line with what you're already doing? Are these colors in line with the business you're gonna be creating around the book? Also, are those clothes luxury? Are those clothes, for example, let's say if you're in the fitness field, are they fitness clothes? If you're a doctor, are they perhaps, uh, you know, the, the kind of clothes that a doctor would wear? If you're a chef, are they the kind of clothes that a chef would wear? Do you have an apron? So the clothes, they have to symbolize something that is in line with what you do. Because for example, if you're gonna be, if you're a chef and you're doing a book about cooking, perhaps it's not suitable for you to wear a suit. Whereas in most business situations, it would be. Yes. So, and regarding this photo, I think that the expression of your face has to be aligned with actually what you want to represent in the book. So the message about victories, about happiness, it should be smiling, but maybe in the book's about reflection, maybe the people should be like thinking or sometimes use a prompt. So how you define the expression of that photo and what is the alignment with the title, which is the message of the book? That's a good question. It's a very complicated process actually to get that right because you have to get you know the overall expression of the face with the gestures with the right clothes with you know the positioning of your body with for example some elements that you're going to add some graphic elements you're going to add that will also express the same thing so what happens is that in the book you have to have many different elements that will express that title so that it's all aligned to express that this is what the title is about, right? And uh, in certain cases, you may not use all the graphic elements and you may just use, you know, a somber picture of, of you. So many different elements are in play so that you get the right messaging, right? Depending on what, you, what the business is, what the book is about and everything. So it's really key that you look at all the different ways to express that idea of the title um, and then sometimes less is more because just by putting for example a graph of you know let's say the book is about investment you put a graph sometimes it could help the idea be showcased so sometimes the idea can be reinforced with a small piece of graph or prompt right to reinforce what these title and subtitle and the whole cover works right Yes, and also I think it's important to express also the joy of the author or the sadness or the emotion. The emotion behind it is really important as well. So for example, I have this book, which is One Life, One List that I have helped to create and publish. And there were a lot of different pictures that I looked at because the, uh, you know, Christian, the, the author, was very, uh, very smiling and very coachable person. Now, I chose a particular photo of him where he was smiling quite a lot. And uh, I chose that because I really wanted to express the feeling of joy that you get when you have a freedom lifestyle. And the freedom lifestyle was the outcome of the book, which is One Life, One List, which is about productivity. When you're productive, you're happier because you take less time to do the same thing. And then you have more money, more time and everything. Yeah. And how can you find this emotion in a picture? <laughs> a picture that is something plain, right? But sometimes with the right light, the right angle, the right position, I think that with your authors, you play music and you create a whole framework for them so they can get into that state so they can produce the right picture that we have the right benefit for for the book cover, is that correct? Yes, so I've added actually last year something else, which was before I was taking all the pictures in a studio, a professional photographer was taking maybe between 250 and 1,000 pictures in, in one hour, which is uh, something that most photographers are unable to do. Most of them would give you maybe like six pictures in one hour, 
and then uh, they would edit them and give them to you and this is it, right? Whereas what uh, I tend to do for the moment uh, is I'm collaborating with a photographer that gives you all of the pictures and then you're free to kind of like edit them yourself and so on. And then we choose one of those like 500 or 1000 pictures and what we've added is that we're doing the photos in a luxury setting. So we choose the different settings and you know different types of clothes and so on that look good that are we have already agreed beforehand these are the things you're going to wear. And what happens is that because you are in a luxury setting and you're wearing luxury clothes then it's almost like your entire persona is uplifted, your entire image is uplifted and all of a sudden you already look like you're a Rolls Royce and uh, it could happen in as little as 60 to 90 days. So basically having a great book cover is to have a title as a message, a subtitle that clarified that message that it can also work as a motto and then we need elements like have the right clothes and the right posture. posture. Sometimes some reinforcing element in the cover that add more and then the state of the author. So, you know, when people take photos, if you are sad, it doesn't matter when you go to the photo shoot, sometimes people, it will appear sad. However, the change of the state that happened in this studio before they actually go to take the pictures, because I hear that sometimes it's a lot of music, a lot of dancing, a lot of fun. How do you help your author to release all the stress and the tension of the photo shoot? Some of them never been in a photo shoot and actually be with that process and just in one hour create a winning photo that will take the book over to the next level. So whenever I do the photos in the studio, because I have access to music, then I also play music to get them to be in a state, in a good state. But when I do the photos in a luxury setting, then I have less control over that. And that's where I cannot play music. But I think the environment itself helps, you know, the luxury environment helps them uplift their mood and makes them feel more relaxed. But what I have noticed is that there are many people that find it really hard to unfreeze. They find it really hard to smell. So and what do you do then? Yeah, what I do is that... You I tickle them? I don't tickle them, <laughs> but I do try to, you know, tell them jokes to make them laugh, to say, you know, silly things to make them laugh. And sometimes it doesn't work, you know, like we can do an entire one hour session and uh, they just have it really difficult to smile. And what we'll discover is that literally once we say, oh, the thing is over, and we just take a few more shots and it's those winning shots that end up being, you know, <laughs> it was those last shots that end up being the winning After shots over, yeah. because they were relaxed. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a funny thing. <laughs> to sum up, you have to take good pictures. You have to put yourself in a good state, relax, have a massage the day before, uh, you know, get a facial, do something to make you look good, and you'll find that it will pay off.